Hey guys! And here you thought I was done with the gun effect tutorials, but since bullet hits are such a popular visual effect today, I'm going to show you how to destroy stuff with your bullet hits. The concept of this effect is actually very simple. You film your scene with an item that is already broken and then, in post-production, you add layers to make the item appear to be in perfect condition until it is destroyed. For example, in the intro to this video, the target sign I'm holding up is already pretty torn up even before I throw it into the air and shoot at it. Now, let me show you how you can achieve this effect in After Effects. As I mentioned before, I recorded the intro with me holding up an already destroyed target. In order to make it look as if it was in perfect condition, I also recorded a short clip of me holding up an intact target at the same position and under the same lighting conditions. On this alternative take, scroll to a position in the timeline where the unbroken target is clearly visible and then render the frame out into a file. Be sure to export in full resolution so you don't lose any quality along the way. I'm going to call this file target. Import the file back into your project and drag it into your composition. We can now disable the footage we used to render this frame. This will simply make it easier to work with the target and reduce rendering time. Next, use masks to cut out the intact target. Apply a small feathering amount to the mask to smoothen the edges a little. I'm also going to add a subtractive mask at the top to cut out the area where I want my fingers from the original footage to show through. Now that that's done, we will have to position this intact target over the broken one. To make this job easier, make sure that the anchor point for the layer is positioned right in the center of the target. If it is not, select the pen behind tool from the toolbar and drag the light brown anchor icon into the right position. This ensures that all rotation and scaling operations will be applied around the center of the target. Now, if we position this overlay correctly, it should look as if I was holding up a target without any bullet holes in it. Well, but this is just one frame. We now need to position this overlay for all frames up to the moment where the target is destroyed. For this, expand the layer properties on our overlay and enable the stopwatch for position, rotation and scaling so we can keyframe the movement of the target. This again is a task that can be made a lot easier if you use tracking and I promise I will cover that topic in another tutorial soon. For now, we will simply go through our composition frame by frame and position, scale and rotate the target overlay to cover up the damage. However, towards the end of the shot we run into a problem. Just before I shoot the target I raise it into the air and we can no longer cover up the damage simply by repositioning the target overlay we've created. We will have to abandon our large overlay and use smaller ones to cover up the holes individually for this last bit. First, let's animate the opacity of our large overlay and fade it out within around 5 frames just as I'm lifting up the target. Then, create a new overlay to cover up the hole on the right side of the target. For this, drag a new copy of the frame you exported into your composition, mask out the section we want to cover up and animate the position, scale and rotation to hide the hole on the right side. We will also have to add a curves adjustment and a fast blur onto this layer and animate these properties to ensure our overlay blends nicely with the damaged target. Repeat this very process for the other holes. Hmm, if you look closely just as I'm letting go of the paper, you can see the holes on the back. You can cover those up using the exact same techniques we just applied. Export a frame that contains enough of the target so you can cut it out and use this overlay to cover up the damage. At the point of me shooting the target, ensure that all overlay layers either disappear or move out of the frame to reveal the damage. You may also have to add muzzle flashes or explosions, some particles and sound to make the final effect look more convincing. Note that you can use this effect for much more than just a paper target. You can have glass shatter, shirts being slashed, walls crumble, even entire buildings collapse. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please leave any comments, questions or suggestions in the section below. Until next time, I will see you later.